Welcome back to the Go Green Heating AC and Electric Podcast. Today, we're taking a fascinating detour from our usual discussions about energy-efficient heating, cooling, and electrical systems. Let's dive into the fascinating world of thermodynamics and explore how it has shaped our planet and our daily lives. The Paleoarchean is a geologic era within the Archean Eon. The name derives from Greek palaios, meaning ancient. It spans the period of time from 3,600 to 3,200 million years ago. The era is defined chronometrically and is not referenced to a specific level of a rock section on Earth. The earliest confirmed evidence of life comes from this era, and Valbra, one of Earth's earliest supercontinents, may have formed during this era. A stromatolite formed by Paleoarchean microbial mats, preserved as a fossil from the Pilbara Craton, Western Australia. The geological record from the Paleoarchean era is very limited. Due to deformation and metamorphism, most rocks from this era cannot provide any useful information. There are only two locations in the world containing rock formations that are intact enough to preserve evidence of early life the Kyapval Craton in southern Africa and the Pilbara Craton in western Australia. The Dresser Formation is located in the Pilbara Craton and contains sedimentary rock from the Paleoarchean era. It is estimated to be 3.48 billion years old. The Dresser Formation includes a great variety of structures caused by ancient life, including stromatolites and microbially induced sedimentary structures, MIS, once formed by microbial mats. Such microbial mats belong to the oldest ascertained life forms and may include fossilized bacteria. The Strelly Pool Chert, also located in the Pilbara Craton, contains stromatolites that may have been created by bacteria 3.4 billion years ago. However, it is possible that these stromatolites are abiogenic and were actually formed through evaporitic precipitation then deposited on the seafloor. The Barberton Greenstone Belt, located in the Kapval Craton, also contains evidence of life. It was created around 3.26 billion years ago, GA, when a large asteroid about 37 to 58 kilometers, 23 to 36 miles wide, collided with the Earth. The Buck Reef Chert and the Joseph Stahl Chert, two rock formations in the Barberton Greenstone Belt, both contain microbial mats with fossilized bacteria from the Paleoarchean era. The Kromberg Formation, near the top of the Anverwacht group which itself is part of the Barberton Greenstone Belt, dates back to approximately 3.416 to 3.334 billion years ago and contains evidence of microbial life reproducing via multiple fission and binary fission. Similarities between the Barberton Greenstone Belt and the Kapval Craton and the eastern part of the Pilbara Craton indicate that the two formations were once joined as part of the supercontinent Valbara one of Earth's earliest supercontinents. Both cratons formed at the beginning of the Paleoarchean era. While some paleomagnetic data suggests that they were connected during the Paleoarchean era, it is possible that Valbara did not form until the Mesoarchean or Neoarchean eras. It is also unclear whether there was any exposed land during the Paleoarchean era. Although several Paleoarchean formations, such as the Dresser Formation, the Yosef Stahl Chert and the Mendon Formation show some evidence of being above 3 billion years old the surface. Over 90% of our Kean continental crust has been destroyed, making the existence of exposed land practically impossible to confirm or deny. It is likely that during the Paleoarchean era, there was a large amount of continental crust, but it was still underwater and would not emerge until later in the Archean era. Hotspot islands may have been the only exposed land at the time, Due to a much hotter mantle and an elevated oceanic geothermal gradient compared to the present day, plate tectonics in its modern form did not exist during the Paleoarchean. Instead, a model of flake tectonics has been proposed for this era of geologic time. According to this model, instead of normal subduction of oceanic plates, extensively silicified upper oceanic crust delaminated from lower oceanic crust and was deposited in a manner similar to ophiolites from the later Proterozoic and Phanerozoic eons. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the history of heat on Earth. We hope this episode has provided you with a solid foundation on heating and cooling concepts, preparing you for more advanced discussions in future episodes. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more HVAC tips and tricks. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment below or reach out directly. Visit us at gogreenheating.com or give us a call at 206-620-1600. Until next time, stay comfortable and eco-friendly. Thanks for listening.